رب زدني What is going to happen? The World Cup is going to extend up to Ramadan? Yeah, 15. 15 Ramadan? Allah, these people, may Allah guide them. They know exactly what they are doing, Allah. Long ago, scholars have been talking about this, that these people, when they design World Cup, they design it at the moment Muslims are doing ibadat. Look at the Muslim people. Allah, Allah, Allah. So please help me to answer this question. <laughs> How can you incorporate, reconcile the life in, in this time, right? Yeah. If, you take, if you take my advice, if you take my advice, just divorce it from now. Wallah, if you take my advice. Yeah. Well, I was sitting with a brother today, very nice. And he used to watch these things, but he was telling me this year, not even once he watched a World Cup. Yeah. And I saw him so happy with his life. You get it? <coughs> and look at the way the, 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 the thing is taking your heart, right? When you go, you have the team that you want them to win, right? How's your heart is going to do? MashaAllah, if the, in the prayer your heart is shaking like this, we'll be happy. But football, football is going to make it like this. Yeah. So, Wallahi, between me and, and you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you are to take my advice, divorce it. One million times. The limit we have in divorce is three times. One million times. Stay away from it. So remember, I'm not saying haram, but I'm saying a wise Muslim who knows the value of his time will not waste his time on this. So we're not talking about even Ramadan. You will not waste your time. Baby. They told me that they stay up to eight, right? In the morning. Come on. Allah must it. Ya akhi, sleep is better for you. Come for Fajr in the early time, the first line, Wallahi is way better for you. And actually, I should say Astaghfirullah for making the comparison between coming to Fajr and watching World Cup. Because it's just like saying to the king, you are better than donkey. I guess you're not praising the king. You meet, you meet one of the kings and tell him, Wallahi, Mr. King, my own research showed me that you are way better than dog. <laughs> How do you think he will do? Yeah. You're not praising him at all. Yeah. So go do business, get some money. Wallahi, throw them away for somebody to come and get them for charity. It's better than wasting time in those things. Yeah. So may Allah guide the Muslim brothers and sisters to understand this. Yeah. I'm not saying watching football is haram. But if you were to take my advice, not even Ramadan, no, before Ramadan, make a stand, stay away from it, do something beneficial for you and the family. It's better for you. Those hours that you're spending watching, 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 what do you gain from that? Nothing except sins. Because I guess they have some sisters, right? Also naked watching in there. And also whenever they come, they will not tell you, okay, Karim, we're gonna show one of them here, please close your eyes. It will just come like that. And then if you're righteous, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. For how long are you going to say astaghfirullah? The moment you're going to say astaghfirullah, they shoot a goal. You, you will forget. Instead of saying astaghfirullah, you will say, it, say that there, there is a goal in, entering there. Yeah. May Allah want to guide the Muslims. Wallahi, wallahi. This is, this is fitna and musibah, I'm telling you. Yeah. I thought, honestly speaking, it's going to finish in a few days. One, two, three days before Ramadan. 15 Ramadan, man. Allah guide them.